on the lookout. What do you need? The Scarlet Chorus is mostly for madmen and peasants with rusty daggers, but it's also a little niche of freedom that I never had. What do you need to know? For new recruits shoved to the front lines, training means surviving the first battle. There's nothing in the world like getting put through the paces as a Scarlet Fury. Every day is a test of your commitment and passion. Failure means death. The elite fighters of the Scarlet Chorus. Your typical Horde recruit fights with a rusty spoon and a chip on his shoulder, but the Scarlet Furies are, well, different. We focus our madness. We coordinate, we kill, we dance. It's like art. 
Imagine a sculpture that twisted in weird, beautiful angles, and then gutted you too fast for you to realize what was happening. It is, as I remind myself all the time. The most important day of my life was when the voices of Narat recognized my potential and sent me to Scarlet Fury training. What do you need to know? What do you need to know? What did you have in mind?
Go ahead, Fatebinder. Do you now? You already know that I memorize the moves of my Scarlet Fury sisters. If it seems like a total mystery to me, I don't know how you could have arrived at any conclusions, but I'm open to ideas. I hope I didn't hear you say that, Fatebinder, because the implication is more than either of us is prepared to handle. The Voices of Narat is a monster. We both know that Teratus has never seen a creature more despicable than him. Never mind that he's kind of my boss. Well, I don't want to fucking think about it. Didn't you consider for a second that the thought had occurred to me already? I've traveled with the Chorus for years. I've seen what the voices can do, and it scares me, all right? The idea that everything I am could be reduced to... to that. If I had that kind of power, if I could become like him, I don't know how I could live with myself. I'd rather drown myself in the Camp Latrine. I'm sure he had the same idea when he got started. But you know what they say about power? It's usually wielded by assholes. My sisters died. You should have seen us. We were amazing together. I didn't mean to take away what made them special, but I did it all the same. And let me tell you, it felt terrible. If I lived a century, I might never figure out how to make that happen again. And more importantly, I don't want to. If you insist, I'm a Scarlet Fury. That should raise some flags for you. What I won't enjoy are the pleasures of funerary rites packed with weeping mourners. Someday I'll fall in battle, and then they'll roll me into a mass grave or heap me atop a shit-stained wagon. Until then, I plan to take whatever I can from life and have a little fun along the way. What do you need? That would be an understatement, and I thought you'd never ask. Since you're obviously at a huge disadvantage, I'll let you pick our weapon of choice. Exotic. Good choice. <laughs> you held your own. Call me impressed. Need anything else, or did I tire...
Sorry, I can't. Fatebinder, the Iron Marshal has tasked me with keeping you alive, and I have no intention of disappointing her. Likewise, good binder. Beric, is that you under there? I had no idea you were in Vendrian's well. Fatebinder, do you know this walking anchor? No. Oh, that is to say, yes. I'm already as familiar with this ironclad halfwit as I care to be. We don't have time to trade jabs today, Verse. After the siege, you can throw as many tantrums as you please. No offense to the mission, but seeing you looking like a garbage heap and reeking of a mass grave is more amusing by far. It's challenging enough to experience battle from a courtroom, much less remember the faces of your cohorts. I wouldn't expect you to know me under these accursed blades of rust. Better to work with the Honorable Binder than some chorus children.
That's far enough, Fatebinder. In accordance with ancient customs north and south, I offer and request a delay of blade. There are matters we must discuss without fear of reprisal. As is our custom, we are ready to kill to defend our lands, but we kill only in fair battle. We don't slay our prisoners. We know this isn't Kairos's way, but we must have hope. A few of my kin have gone missing, and though they may have perished, I have to inquire on the off chance they still live. If Captain Tarkas Deimos still lives, we would negotiate for his release. I see. That is as I feared, but thank you for telling me all the same. I prefer closure to wishful thinking. If I may make one more inquiry, what of Palox Tyrell? Did he survive? My apologies, Fatebinder. I had a terrible feeling this errand was in vain from the start. I had no expectations that our friends could be saved, as I'm sure the time for swapping prisoners is long gone. But at least I know of what became of them. That'll have to be enough. Then all that remains is for me to thank you for hearing me out. In accordance with our ancient customs north and south, let us part with peaceful accord. At your service, Fatebinder. What do you need? I've got it. 